What's going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Ermac in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Ermac, some best strategies you need to be using, and of course, some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat and fighting game content, and let's jump right into this guide. Also my dudes, go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we use so that everybody who's watching can understand what we're saying. So I'm going to start off with the moveset, the normals, and the strings, and of course the specials to help you gather an idea of how he's going to play and what to be on the lookout for. Ermac has some awesome stuff going on for him, but unfortunately, uh, mix-up game is not one of them. He's got one low with his 3-4, and as you see there, that's more of a combo ender, unless you use cameos with it, of course. So you can use that low to start combos if you have a cameo, and his forward two is an overhead, but it is pretty slow on startup, but that can cancel into specials as well. So you're not going mix heavy, you're going more for rush down slash punish heavy. Punishing with one, two, that's super fast, has a mid and can go into specials. Your two, one is great, but it is slow, like slow on startup. Now when it comes to wake up attacks, you want to use your back forward two special move here. And the reason why is that when you enhance it, you do gain armor on it. And here's how that looks. Although if you want to use your down back one, your witch slam here as a wake up attack, you definitely can. It is a mid and it's got pretty good range as well. And of course, if you enhance that, you have an amazing combo starter for anything that you want. Now, when it comes to strategies with Ermac, uh, he's just really a good rushdown character. He's got the pokes. He's got the combos. He's got the air combos for days. He's got air cancels. In fact, Ermac has the most air combos I've ever seen in a Mortal Kombat character. Look at this, we got one, two, one. We got one, two, two. We got one, two, three. We got one, four. We got two, one. We got two, four, two. It goes on and on. So he's really about getting your opponent in the air, falling up with combos, falling up with cancels, and just rushing down the hell out of them. Now, a couple gimmicks slash notes you wanna know about when playing Ermac is his teleport the down back four. Yeah, that's great. A couple things about that. If you enhance it, you can combo from it like this. That teleport can be comboed without enhancing it using a cameo like this. You also have the air teleport, and though that hits in the air, you can actually change that. So if you do down back four, then you hold down, you'll actually come and teleport from the bottom like this. And vice versa, if we teleport from the ground, we can hold up and hit above our opponent. And that can be good for mind games, go up, land, and then go for a combo. Or whiff on purpose, land, grab. Keep that in mind for combos as well, because you can do some crazy stuff with it. Another gimmick that is super exclusive to Ermac is Death's Embrace. Your four down back three option here. You see, we have Death Embrace us, and what this does for us is if we get hit while we have Death's Embrace on us, the damage will actually come from our super meter bar rather than our actual health bar. And here's what I mean. We're gonna throw on Death's Embrace. Oh no, we got hit by a combo. Look at our super meter bar now. Now you might think, wait, why would I wanna waste my super meter bar? You're not wasting it. You are having extra survivability and will survive longer than your opponent. You're adding way more health essentially to your health bar than any other character in the game. So if it's a close match health-wise and you throw on Death's Embrace, you already have more health than your opponent as long as you have bar, of course. That's gonna come in clutch, I promise you. Also, another side note, with Death's Embrace, you can cancel. If you don't wanna keep it on you the entire time, just hold down and stand switch and that will cancel Death's Embrace. If you're like, oh no, I actually don't want to use that, just cancel it. Ermac also has a special move in the air, down back two, that's a suspend move. Doesn't really do anything at first glance, but you can actually throw that inside of air combos and continue air combos as if you're in the air. So for an example, in the air, we have one, two, two, and on the ground, we have four, two. Well, as you see there, that little microsecond right there where Ermac's in the air, we can't really do a combo. However, if you do 4-2, down back 2 in the air, we see the suspend there. While we're suspended like that, we can continue the air combo. It's a bit tricky and requires precise timing, but once you get it down, you're going to be a menace. And here's how it looks. If your opponent is blocking all that while well, using the suspend and then continuing the attack actually makes you a lot safer than normal. So if they're blocking and you go for it, you hit them, you go for the pressure still, you do it again, you go for more pressure, you get the idea. You're gonna be safe on a lot more strings using that suspend and you're gonna be able to continue combos you normally couldn't. It is a big part of Ermac's combo game, so if that bothers you, he might not be the character for you, I'm not gonna lie. Not only that, but you see while we're suspended, we don't really move. However, if you suspend hold back, you move a little bit. Same with moving forward. 
that little centimeter you move during suspend matters in a combo. Because if you want two, one, two, and then you do suspend, then an air combo, it's not gonna hit. You have to move a little bit forward for it to actually connect like this. So the suspend and using the suspend in combos does take some time and practice, but with enough patience, I'm sure you'll get it down. Also, Ermac has another special in the air down back three. It is a low hitting move. You can do that for moves that do put you in the air like this. That one's gonna miss obviously, but our four to four carries us in the air and then we can do it. Now, if you enhance that, it does cost two whole bars, but you can see here, we get a pretty good setup for a future combo. And you can do that inside of another combo like this. It does cost two bars, like I said, so keep that in mind when you're using it. You want to make sure you do not miss that. We have another special that does have a cancel as well, our back forward three. At first glance, just a pop-up special for maybe cameo. But if you do that, then dash, you can continue the combo. And you can do that in other combos. And the same thing goes for back forward one. You can hold that, but then also cancel it. So do back forward one and then dash. And you can also do that in combo. So as you can already tell, Ermac is all about cancels. We got air cancels. We got ground dash canceling. His combos require a bit more precision than most other characters, but man, they are so satisfying. Going back to the era combos, I'm not gonna lie to you. You're gonna find yourself most of the time using one, two, two, one, two, three, one, four, and two, four. But with two, four, you're usually gonna go two, four, cancel into suspend, and then do another era combo. And here's how that looks. So as you can see, using suspend in the air, we can do a combo, suspend, and then another air combo. So Ermac spending most of his time in the air. Now that you got a basic foundation on how Ermac's gonna work, let's go ahead and show off some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Here are some without using a cameo. Now here are some combos using different cameos.
as you can see, Ermac is very versatile with many, many cameos and has so many amazing tools and he's a ton of fun. With that being said though, let me know down below, what do you think of Ermac in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like him? Do you hate him? Are you gonna be using him? Let me know your thoughts. If this video helped you, subscribe here for more because we have tons of new videos all the dang time. Speaking of videos, go ahead and click into these one next for more guides, news, tutorials, and more.